Hello again, it's Dave and Jacob here today talking to you about AMD CPUs and what's going on with them in Intel. So yeah, some new retail figures have popped up on Reddit, um, coming out of Mind Factory. Um, it's a German retailer that occasionally pops up um, sales reports over the last few months or so. Um, and it has shown for the first time since November last year, AMD have actually taken the lead in CPU sales over Intel. So that's the first time since Intel's Coffee Lake launched, right? Yeah, yeah. So they, um, when the first gen Ryzen CPUs first launched um, way back like a year ago, a year ago, 18 months ago now, isn't mm. it? Yeah, so, so when they first launched, the first gen Ryzen's eventually took over Intel CPUs because they were just basically battling Kaby Lake. And then uh, Intel released the Coffee Lake CPUs as a response to that in November and took the lead back. And they've been outselling AMD quite comfortably since then. But it's not all bad for Intel, right? Yeah, no, not really, because um, while AMD are selling more actual physical CPUs, I think they've um, it's like in August it was 51% of Mind, Mind Factory's sales were AMD and 49% were Intel. That's in physical units sold. Intel is still shipping for more money than the equivalent AMD processors, so they're actually making a lot more revenue mm. still than AMD. So that's one German retailer, but what about the greater expanse of retailers? In the yeah, world? I mean, it's, it's obviously it's, it's a single source from a single retailer, so you kind of got to take it with a little bit of a pinch of salt. But it is um, indicative of a wider trend across across the world. Um, if you look at Amazon, for example, who are obviously one trillion dollar company, massive massive retailer. In the UK, um, six out of the top 10 CPUs sold on the bestsellers list are AMD CPUs, and in the US as well on Amazon, the five of the top 10 are AMD CPUs. So it's, it's, it's still looking, looking mm. pretty, pretty good for AMD on that front too. So what can Intel do to compete with AMD with their newfound success? Yeah, I mean, well, this is the thing. Like we say, um, this is the first time since Coffee Lake was launched that AMD have taken the lead. And we're going to see some Coffee Lake refresh CPUs launching around the same time this year. So around October, November, we're going to see some new Intel CPUs. And that's going to be the first um, Intel 8-core 16-thread CPU in the mainstream arena. So that's a 9700K and the 9900K. Yeah, so a Core i9 and a Core i7, both with 8 cores. So that's going to be really interesting. And that, depending on how they're priced, that could switch the balance back in favor of Intel again. But then AMD might switch it back again with the rumored 2800X which could come in and then compete with them again on that really ultra high-end mainstream market. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously AMD have got Threadripper 2, which they, they put out into the market. So they've got high-end desktop things, which are just like millions and millions of cores. Well, not quite millions, but you get the idea. Lots of cores. Um, but in the previous generation of the standard Ryzen's, we had the 1800X at the top end. But with this generation, we only have the 2700X at the top end. So we're still waiting for a 2800X to tip up. Now we think it's kind of AMD have been holding that back, waiting to see what Intel do with their own 8-core and see if they can beat it with that one. Mm. And hopefully it'll be called a Ryzen 9 2800X, just yeah. to stick it to Intel. Yeah, we'd love bit. that. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Yeah, if you like what you've seen, give us a like and subscribe and check back for more PC gaming and hardware goodness on PCGamesN.com. Bye.